वेलकम बैक टू आवर सेकेंड यूनिट स्पोर्ट्स एंड न्यूट्रिशन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट बैलेंस डाइट एंड न्यूट्रिशन इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय एंड माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय नाउ दिस इज पार्ट टू इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट न्यूट्रिटिव एंड नॉन न्यूट्रिटिव कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द डाइट इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी first about the nutritive component of the diet nutritive component of diet are those components which provide energy or calories non nutritive component of diet non nutritive component of diet are those components that do not provide energy or calories fibers water colors flavors pesticides residues etc are among thousands of non nutritive components of diet or food as a matter of fact there are a lot of non nutritive components of diet that can be identified easily however there are also many non nutritive components of diet that have been discovered recently this may be thousands of phytochemicals which can both help us or harm us some of them are considered to check the cancer initiators or promoters in the body now we will discuss nutritive component of diet in detail in which first we are going to discuss regarding proteins proteins its meaning is the best substance from the food stuff protoplasm is formed by proteins which is the base of living cells maximum amount of protein is found in the tissues of our body besides this protein is also found in blood secretion of endocrine glands bones teeth and in delicate tissues if water is extracted from our body the maximum percentage of protein will be left behind in our body protein is a compound which is formed by the combination of oxygen carbon hydrogen and nitrogen among the energy producing food substances protein is the only constituent in which chemical elements of nitrogen phosphorus and sulfur are found that is why a protein is also called as nitrogenous food our physical growth and development will be retarded if we take less amount of protein in our body protein promotes cell growth and repair apart from this protein also plays an important role in the mental development of an individual proteins are also known as building blocks of life now I'll study about the sources of protein from the point of view of sources protein can be divided into two categories animal protein and vegetable protein so animal proteins proteins which we get from animal products is called as animal protein this proteins is found in egg milk milk products meat and fish egg is the best example of rich protein because sufficient amount of amino acids are found in eggs vegetable protein as you all know that proteins that we get from vegetables is also is called vegetable protein vegetable protein is usually found in various types of pulses beans soya bean mustard green peas nuts ground nuts dry fruits and food grains the second nutritive component of diet is carbohydrates carbohydrates is also an essential nutrient component of food carbohydrate is also a compound which is formed by the chemical composition of carbon hydrogen and oxygen carbohydrates acts like a fuel of our body carbohydrates provide energy we also need carbohydrates for the formation of fats people who are engrossed in the hard work need maximum amount of carbohydrates however if excess amount of carbohydrate is taken in the food by an individual it always changes into fats and after that it is accumulated in fatty tissues 
lack of carbohydrate in the body reduces the weight of an individual the skin becomes loose and wrinkles starts appearing on the faces a person becomes lean and thin on the other hand if an individual takes the right amount of carbohydrates in his food his body weight starts increasing he experiences high body temperature in such condition an individual becomes lethargic sources of carbohydrates generally carbohydrate is found in rice maize jowar bajra pulses gram dry peas dates grapes potato banana and sugar the third and the last nutritive component of diet is fat fat is an essential nutritive component of food fat is also a compound it is made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen similarly fat provides heat and energy to the body it also helps in regulation of body temperature it is helpful in making the body soft smooth and protects the body from extreme effects of hot and cold climate for the purpose of energy fat is considered better than that of carbohydrates if fat is used with carbohydrates in food fat can be digested easily as compared to that of carbohydrates if excess fat is not used by the body it is accumulated in the body due to which various organs of the body do not work efficiently and properly if fat is available in less quantity in the food carbohydrates to some extent change into fat sources of fat similar to that of protein fats are also divided into two types animal sources and vegetable sources animal sources of fats are various products from animals such as ghee butter cheese curd fish milk meat and eggs such as vegetable sources include sweet potato whole corn dry fruits coconut soya bean food grains mustard oil cotton seeds etc the next nutritive component of diet is vitamins vitamins are important nutritive components of food just like that of proteins carbohydrates and fats vitamins are vital for healthy life vitamins protect us from various types of diseases in fact vitamins increases immunity in our body against various diseases they also contribute in general development of our body if our diet lacks in various vitamins we may suffer from different deficiency diseases although we need these vitamins in less or more quantity they are essential for leading a healthy life there are two types of vitamins fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins firstly we will start with the first that is fat soluble vitamins which constitute of vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k now we'll study in detail about fat soluble vitamins so the first one is vitamin a vitamin a is yellow in color usually this vitamin is not destroyed at a normal temperature but it can be destroyed by oxidation process the ultraviolet rays of the sun can also destroy this this vitamin it can be also destroyed at a normal temperature in the presence of oxygen due to the deficiency of vitamin a numerous diseases can attack a person night blindness are the main diseases that cause by the deficiency of vitamin a vitamin a is essential for the normal growth of an individual due to the deficiency of a skin may become dry there may be wrinkles on the skin teeth lose their brightness and usually become yellow this vitamin also has a negative effect on kidneys nervous system and digestive system sometime there can be a kidney stone due to the deficiency of vitamin a poisonous substances develop in the spinal cord 
the vitamin also protects the body from communicable diseases and the vitamins sources of vitamin A are ghee milk curd egg yolk fish tomato papaya green vegetables orange spinach carrot and pumpkin the next fat soluble vitamin is vitamin D this vitamin is white and odorless vitamin D is helpful for the formation and maintenance of good teeth and healthy bones it enables the body to accumulate calcium and phosphorus which helps in the formation of the body bones deficiency of this vitamin causes rickets ill shaped teeth bones and also softens the bones the intake of this vitamin should be increased in order to cure bones and teeth diseases the sources of vitamin d may be supplied by egg yolk fish sunlight vegetables cod liver oil milk cream butter tomato carrot etc the next vitamin is vitamin e vitamin e is an important vitamin required for the growth of many organs in our body generally the deficiency of vitamin e is rare but it can occur in people with certain genetic disorder and it is very low weight premature infant a deficiency may cause anemia or low red blood count which may affect our body's ability to produce sex hormones that promote the functioning of reproductive system it is also an antioxidant this means it helps to slow down the process that damages cells the sources of vitamin e are kidney liver heart cotton seeds sprouts coconut oil yolk dry and fresh fruits milk meat butter and maize are the rich source of vitamin e the last fat soluble vitamin is vitamin k vitamin k is derived from the word coagulation which means clotting of blood this vitamin is helpful in the clotting of blood due to the deficiency of this vitamin blood does not clot easily and generally blood continues to flow for a longer time in the event of an injury the requirement of this vitamin is more for the pregnant ladies its deficiency also cause anemia the sources of this vitamin are cauliflower spinach cabbage tomato potato green vegetables wheat egg meat and etc that's all for fat soluble vitamins the next type of vitamin is water soluble vitamins in which we are going to study about the vitamin b complex there are eight vitamins under vitamin b complex which are vitamin b which is also known as thymine the next one is b2 riboflavin next one is vitamin b3 which is also known as niacin vitamin b5 pantothenic acid vitamin b6 vitamin b7 b7 is also known as biotin vitamin b12 and the last one is folic acid the next vitamin is vitamin c as we have previously studied about vitamin c we won't be discussing in detail about vitamin c further we'll go to the next point that is minerals minerals are very important nutritive components of food as mentioned earlier they are helpful for health and general development of the body and also for the proper functioning of the muscles formation of teeth clotting of blood and in maintaining the balance of acid and base in the body there are various types of minerals such as calcium phosphorus iron iodine sodium potassium and sulfur now we'll turn to non nutritive components of diet non nutritive components of diet are those components that do not provide energy or calories roughage or fibers water color flavors pesticides residues etc are among the cal- thousands of non nutritive components of diet 
or food. As a matter of fact, there are lot of non-nutritive components of diet that can be identified easily. However, there are also many non-nutritive components of diet that have been discovered recently. There are thousands of phytochemicals which can be both help us and harm us. Some of them are considered to check the cancer initiators or promoters in the body. The first non-nutritive component of diet is fiber or roughage. Fiber has non-nutritive value, hence it is included in the non-nutritive component of diet. It is the undigested part of the food or it can be said that it cannot be digested by the human intestinal tract. It consists of water and improves intestinal function by adding bulk to food. It satisfies the appetite. It also helps to correct the disorders of large intestine. It prevents constipation. Roughage or fibers can be divided into two categories that is soluble and insoluble fibers. Soluble fibers can be dissolved in water whereas insoluble fibers can't. The soluble fibers reduce blood sugar fluctuations and lowers cholesterol. Insoluble fiber is a good stool softener. Usually 30 grams of fiber is recommended for an adult per day. Both types of fibers are equally significant for human beings. Fiber is helpful in decreasing the risk of heart disease and is preventing certain types of cancer. The sources of fibers are wheat, fresh fruits, root, vegetables, oats, connective tissues of meat and fish are very good sources of fibers. Next non-nutritive component of diet is water. Water is also an essential component of diet. Even blood comprises of 90% of water. Water in the blood helps in the transportation of the nutrients to various cells of the body. Water is also significant in the excretion of waste products. It also regulates the body temperature. Our body loses approximately 2% of body weight as water per day. We recover the loss of water by drinking water and by intake of food substances. Water also functions as a lubricant, keeps the skin moist and protects the body from shocks. Generally, about 20% of water intake comes from food and remaining intake comes from drinking water. It is excreted from the body in various forms such as urine, feces, sweat and water vapor in the exhaled breath. The next non-nutritive component of diet comprises of color compounds. Food or diet is made up of more appetizing and attractive by the wide reflection of colors made possible through pigments. Natural pigments are found in fruits and vegetables. The colors derived from animal products and grains are less bright. The various colors derived from fruits and vegetables such as red, orange, yellow, green, blue and cream. The last two non-nutritive components of diet are flavor compounds and plant compounds. Now we will go in detail about flavor compounds. Flavors are derived from both nutritive and non-nutritive components of food. Sometimes it becomes very difficult to know the source of the specific flavor. An acidic food provides sour taste, while an alkaline one provides a better taste. The last non-nutritive component of diet is plant compounds. In addition to color compounds and flavor compounds, there are some plants which contain other non-nutritive substances. When the substances are injected, they may have beneficial or harmful effects. There are many compounds that inhibit cancer. There are also a number of harmful substances in the plants 
which have harmful effect if ingested in excess caffeine is one such example if it is taken in excess quantity then it may increase heart rate secretion of stomach acid leads to excessive urination this is all for the today's lecture remaining part of this unit will be covered in the next lecture thank you be safe at home